Hello everyone, welcome to all of you at Tech GKCM, the official YouTube channel of GKCM. This is Sukamal Ghosh, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Greater Kolkata College of Engineering and Management, JIS Group. In this particular video lecture of Construction Planning and Management, we are going to discuss about some basic guidelines or rules to construct or to draw a CPM network. This is a proper CPM network, but to master it or to draw it in an error-free way, we need to know some basic rules. The first rule is, there should be a single arrow for each activity. Now, if a particular project network have n numbers of activity, then we have to draw n numbers of arrow to represent those n numbers of activity. Now, this particular project network have seven numbers of activity. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So seven numbers of activity. Therefore, we have drawn seven numbers of arrow to represent these seven activities. Okay. Now these circles, these circles are called events. Also sometimes they are called nodes. And these particular numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these numbers are called events numbers or nodes number. Okay. The second rule is each activity will start from an event and will end in an event. Okay. So this rule is saying that every activity will emerge from an event and will merge in another event. Now see. This activity A, this activity A has emerged from event 1 and has merged in event 2. Also, this E activity, this activity has emerged from event 3 and has merged in event 5. And all the other activities like B, C, D, F, G, all the activities has started from an event and finish in another event. Okay, so according to this rule, this particular project network is correct. But if you consider this project network, you may observe that, that this M activity has started from this event, but hasn't been end in any other event. So this particular project network is incorrect. Okay. Now the third rule is, network should flow in one direction. Now it is customary to assume that the time flows from left to right. That's why we are assuming the network is also flowing from left to right. Okay. The fourth rule is a project network should have only one start event and only one finish event. Okay. If we consider this particular project network, you may observe here, it has a initial node. This initial node is nothing but the starting event, the start event and this end node, this end node is finish event. This end node is finish event. So this particular project network has only one start event and only one finish event and every proper project network should have only one start event and only one finish event and the events between this start event and finish event like three two four these are called dual events these are called dual events now the fifth rule is saying two activities should not have a common start and common end event. If we consider this figure, you may observe that activity A and activity B both has started from event 1 and both has finished in event 2. But this is a wrong representation of these activities because it has clearly stated over rule number 5 that two activities should not have a common start and a common end event. In this figure also you may observe that event 
sorry activity a and activity b both has started from this particular event and both has uh, finished in this particular event it means they both have a common start point and common end event okay so this is also wrong this particular network is incorrect so to cope up with this situation we need to introduce dummy activities what are dummy activities the dummy activities are the activities which are not consumes any kind of time or resources this dummy activities are actually a artificial act an artificial activities which are just introduced to maintain the logic of network and the relation between the predecessor and successor activities okay you may observe here in this particular figure suppose this is a and this is b now to maintain the relation between a and b and to maintain the prop the logic of this network we introduce this dummy activity dummy activities are basically uh, shown by this uh, type of dotted arrow okay now dummy activity itself a uh, huge concept and a uh, different topic altogether so we will discuss it in an another video okay properly now the sixth rule is formation of looping is not allowed now you may observe here this activity this activity and this activity or the direction of this activity is making a loop anti clockwise you may observe here this direction of this three activities are making a anti clockwise loop but this kind of loop is not allowed in a network and this kind of uh, this is called looping error and sometimes this is also called cycling error cycling error okay now you may observe in this particular figure also that um, activity b activity d and uh, activity c this three activity are making a looping error okay but this particular figure is not making any kind of looping error so this project network is correct but this project network is wrong according to this rule number 6 okay now the seventh rule is saying there should not be any dangling now what is dangling basically dangling is uh, when an activity is disconnected from the whole network that is known as dangling error now you may observe here in this particular network the activity c is disconnected from the whole network okay that is why here dangling error occurs in this particular figure also you may observe this um, c activity and this f activity is disconnected from this whole network so dangling error is also occur here okay now eighth rule is for numbering of nodes fulkerson rule should be used now this fulkerson rule is a huge topic altogether and we need to discuss it in a uh, another video and we we'll, and we will do it but in this particular video we will just know what is fulkerson rule actually is and the basic statement of fulkerson rule now the basic statement of fulkerson rule is if a activity which have a tail event and a head event and the number of tail event is i and if the number of head event is j then i have to be less than j this is the basic statement of fulkerson rule okay the ninth rule is a network should be closed see from this figure you may observe this figure is not closed it is clearly showing over here this particular figure is not closed this figure will be closed only if the activity d will start from here and end here then only this act, uh, this particular network will be closed but this network is closed you can see this network is closed so so this is the proper representation of a network because this network is closed but this network is open okay so this kind of error should not be done in a network now last but not the least 
the arrows should not normally cross each other okay but if a situation is unavoidable then the length of the arrow should be broken to bridge over the other arrow as shown in this particular figure you may you may see see this is a unavoidable situation when we have to you know we have to uh, use a kind of arrow which passes and or cross another activity you can see this activity f due to maintain the logic of this network this activity f have to cross another activity that is e in this kind of unavoidable situation what we have to do we have to broke uh, break the length of this activity you can see this is the length of f activity and what we have done here we just broke the length of activity this is called bridging okay this is called bridging this is called bridging this is called bridging okay see this is the representation of bridging so if there is a any unavoidable situation when a activity have to cross another activity in those situation we need to broke the length of the arrows and make a bridge to uh, cross a activity over another activity okay so these are the basic 10 rules to draw a network correctly okay if you have any kind of doubt please do comment in the comment section and uh, i will come uh, very shortly uh, with another video until then stay safe and stay happy thank you